trying to get the chat window out of the way, but where I can still see you guys. Okay, that's kind of good. All right. Okay, so our first team call since I'm back. Um, I don't know if you guys know where I was last week. And I was at um, the Bombshell Dynasty Diamonds Retreat, which um, for those of you who are new or just may not really know what that means, um, so a lot of the top coaches will do special retreats for their personally sponsored diamond coaches. Um, because if you are a diamond coach, then you are, you know, one of the leaders on that team and you contribute a lot, you know, to the qualifications and rank and success of your sponsored coach. So since I'm one of Lindsay Matway's diamonds, um, I got to go. It was really exciting. There were 32 of us there. Um, and she rented out just a big mansion and we just got to hang out and do girls time. And it got me really, well, first of all, it got me really excited for us to do our first team BTFP diamond retreat next year. Um, so it's going to be in the fall next year. So everybody who is diamond ranked by then will be invited. Um, and that's all I'm going to tell you about it for now. Cause I want to like drop little hints all throughout the year to keep you guys excited but um it's going to be a lot of fun and I got a lot of great ideas for our retreat from this one and I'm so excited to talk to you guys all about it but more than that um it was just a nice time to connect with some of the other people who I've only ever known via the internet or who I've only ever seen once or twice in person on the cruise or at summit um bounce ideas around get to hear their stories we all shared our stories and background and um cried every night and it was just like a really cool bonding experience and I'm really excited for you guys to get to experience that with our team as well um and for you guys to get to meet some of those people on the trips when they come up like they'll be at Cancun and they'll be at Summit and you'll get to meet some of the people that are like the the people that started with me that I you know I'm always getting to talk about and brag about you guys will finally meet them so let's launch into this call where it's gonna be a little bit um of some of the top like aha moments I had at the retreat that I wanted to share with you guys. And then at the end, um, Miss Lindsay Matway asked if she could send you guys a special message. And so I have that for you guys to see. So that'll be our grand finale. Um, so again, if there's someone not here, send them a message right away that's like, hey, we have a special thing from Lindsay. You don't want to miss it. But I saved it to the end in case there were stragglers coming along. I didn't want anybody to miss it. Okay. So jumping in. First of all, recognition. Um, we have two new Emerald coaches on our team today, Summer and Christina. So everybody, if you get a chance, congratulate them um, on this first big promotion. If you're new here, an Emerald coach means that you have signed, that you yourself are active as a coach and that you've signed two active coaches under you, one on your left side, one on your right side. That makes you an Emerald coach. If you don't know what the perks of being Emerald are, then go and check the new coach training. There's a there's an assignment all about it and why it's awesome and why everybody that is a business builder should be super excited about hitting it and what it means for your business. It's kind of the first real business promotion from Beachbody that opens you up to earning way more income than you can just earn as a, a normal coach with no rank. So... Really, really, really exciting for Summer and Christina. A little bit about both of them really quick. Summer has only technically been a coach since like the 23rd of October, which is just crazy. She also hit Success Club 8 in October. Um, and then just actually technically last week qualified for Emerald, but there was a, a system glitch. So this is the first week it's showing up officially. So she's been Emerald technically in my mind for a week, um, which is just incredible. So um, everybody, if you get a chance, if she's on here, I can't see everybody who's on here. Congratulations. If not, find her online and give her a little like digital hug and high five. Next is Christina. Christina is um, actually a photography client of mine. She's a bride. She's sweating for the wedding, as they say. And um, she joined the challenge just to, you know, find an extra way to get healthy before the wedding. And through that, found a hidden talent for inspiring people and has just been blowing things up ever since. If you click over to her Facebook page, it's just positivity and inspiration central. Um, she is just such a light. So I'm so excited for both of them. 
And um, I want you guys, if you can, to congratulate them and just kind of lift them up a little bit because this is a, a fun day for them to get to celebrate. Next, um, I know I already posted this on our team page, but I just want to say congratulations to Lisa and Vanessa who are already um, qualified for Success Club for this month. We're just under halfway through the month, so that is incredible. And then we have so many people on the board this month um, with a good amount of points. I mean, we've got a lot of people just one challenge pack away. Um, so to break this down for you guys that are almost there, I know that it can seem really daunting, especially when you're a new coach, thinking, oh my gosh, I have so many points left. But it's really not that hard because if you think about each challenger buys a challenge pack because that's what they need to join your group, that's two points. So it starts to add up really quickly. So everybody that has four points, they just need to help one more person. Everybody who has three points, they just need to help one more person. If you have two points, then you just need to help and f find and help two more people. That's it, just two. Um, if you have one, then you need three, and if you have zero, you need three. So that's it. I mean, at the most, you just have to find and help three people a month. That's totally doable. That's less than one a week, you guys. We can totally do that. Um, and I said this in the group. I don't know if you guys got a chance to read it, but for everybody who has points on the board, if you don't make it and you don't qualify for Success Club 5, even though I think that that is something that is so important. So don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you should not have that as a goal because it should be your number one goal if you are a business building coach every single month to hit that consistently. But if it doesn't happen for one reason or another, I just want you to know that if you have any points on the board, you should feel really proud of yourself because even just one point means that you helped one person and that is an amazing thing. And that will have its own ripple effects. And even if you only help one person a month from here on out, even though I know that you guys can do more than that, even if that's all it is, that's an incredible thing and you should still be proud of yourself for that. So I don't want anybody, you know, if you come in at four and you you tried so hard and you're like, oh, I couldn't get that last person. Like, that's still amazing. You still helped two people. That is something to be proud of. So I want you guys to all understand the gravity of what these points mean. They mean that you're really helping other people to get started and to create positive change in their life. And that, I mean, the ripple effects can, act, can be forever for that. That person... It could change their life. It could change the way that they interact with their spouse, with their kids. They could change those people's lives too. Like this can just keep going, 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 going. So it's awesome. Even if you have one, if you have two, if you have three, if you have four, five. And then, you know, if you hit Success Club 5, don't stop there because you can still help more people. Like that's not the end game either. So this is all about just being able to inspire as many people as we can. The numbers are just kind of something that helps you stay on track, that makes it a little bit fun, but don't get too caught up in them. Okay, so like I said before, I was at the Bombshell Dynasty Retreat. These are a couple of photos I took of my phone. Um, the one on the left is of the main living room area of the mansion with all of us, and this isn't even all of it because I couldn't fit it all in there, but that's Lindsay Matway sitting up on the bar. Can you see her? She's kind of wearing a bluish color shirt, and she's talking to everybody. This was during one of our like little powwow kind of sessions. That's everybody just sitting around. These are I all wasn't gonna do that. These are all the diamond coaches. Put on speaker the whole time. Make sure you guys mute your mics if you haven't already. These are all the diamond coaches um, of Lindsay's. And then on the right side, this was something that I thought was really cool that she did. She had these little envelopes set up with all of our names. And all throughout the weekend that we were there, we could write little notes to each other just telling them affirming stuff about them and then we weren't allowed to read them until we left so everybody took their envelope home and got to read it and it was really really special to get to hear all of those things that everybody else thought about you that were so positive positive. and then on the bottom is a picture of me and one of my success partners Shannon who doesn't live near me so I only really get to see her during special Beachbody events but um she's a really special person to me that I found because of Beachbody so um I'm just really thankful that I had that time with her Okay, so some of my aha moments. I'm going to start with the simplest one, and we're going to work our way up. One of my first aha moments was that, and a lot of us coaches that were there kind of had that, that no matter what you do, there are so many things that you can do once you get into Beachbody. That's kind of the beauty of it, and it can also be a distraction, is that you have so much freedom to express yourself in whatever way you want. You can use Facebook, you can use Instagram, you can do a blog, you can do webinars like I'm doing right now. You can do so much stuff and that's really, really, really cool because it gives all different personality types, all different um, learning styles and creativity levels 
their own avenues to build something successful that works for them. But at the same time, it can be a distraction because you can feel pulled in all these different directions. Like, oh my gosh, I need to build my Instagram and I need to um, create webinars and video training videos and I need to have a Facebook fan page. And it could just be like, oh my gosh, I don't have time to do all these things. And then you get stuck doing all of those things and your business kind of stalls out because you haven't really been doing some of the basics that you really need to be doing to move forward. So when you strip away all the extra, and you take it down to the basics, that is where your foundation needs to be. So what are the basics? You guys have heard me say them a million times before, the three vital behaviors, which basically translates to working out, eating right, and feeding your soul. That's kind of the way I like to think about it. Those, the technical terms for those with Beachbody are being a product of the product, drinking your Shakeology, doing personal development, um, inviting and, pers I said personal development, inviting and personal development. Okay, so... Let's say you strip everything else away. You're not posting on a blog. You're not trying to build an Instagram following. You're not creating YouTube videos. All you're doing is doing your workouts every day, eating right and drinking Shakeology, and feeding your soul with personal development of you know whatever you feel like is important to you at the time, right? So we're stripping everything else away. Go ahead, in your mind, close your eyes, and imagine that you just do that for a week. Right? Imagine that no matter what else in life is happening, you get those things done every day for a week. Start to think about the feelings that you've had when you actually do that. Maybe you're going to have to go all the way back to your first challenge group to remember what it felt like to be this consistent. But I want you guys to think about that. Okay, so you've done it for a week. Odds are you're starting to feel a little bit better. You have maybe lost a few pounds. You may be seeing a little muscle definition. Maybe um, any bloating you've had has gone away. You're feeling energized. You're feeling excited. If you've been feeding your soul with personal development, you probably have all kinds of cool, inspiring ideas now that are bouncing around your head. You have some, some insight that you can share. And all of a sudden, you start to feel more confident. And you start to go, oh my gosh, I have this great idea I want to share. Oh, I took this photo of me working out. I want to show that. Or, oh, this recipe was really great. And you're feeling good about yourself. You're feeling good about the momentum and the progress that you're making. And that comes across in confidence and that you want to share it to, with other people because you're excited and that excitement is contagious. So you start to feel confident talking to people and here's where the third vital behavior starts to come into play, inviting. It's hard to invite when you do not feel good about yourself, when you don't feel good about your own journey, when you are not doing personal development that is refilling your well, so to speak. That is where a lot of the time stuff falls apart. So I see it with so many coaches. You guys, I can tell in five minutes of breezing through your stuff online if you're not doing the three vital behaviors consistently. It's really, really, really evident because this is the, the trickle effect that starts to happen is people start slacking on personal development and they kind of stop knowing what to say. They're not really sure how to lead people. They're not really sure what to communicate. When that stops, they start missing a workout here and there. And two days go by and three days go by and they think, oh my gosh, I'm getting bloated, I don't feel good about my body, I don't have a progress thing to share, I'm not even working out, how can I talk to other people about working out? And then, because we're girls and this is what we do, we start to eat our feelings and we start going, oh my gosh, I just need to order pizza, I'm too stressed out, I don't have time to do this. And then you're like, I have to hide from the internet because I'm not doing the things I'm supposed to be doing as a coach. And the whole thing shuts down. So, if we can flip that on its head, we can cultivate success from the very beginning with really, really simple actions. So when you're doing all of those things, you have this progress, you're feeling good, you're feeling energized, excited, this confidence pours out of you, you're pouring into other people, what happens then? People are attracted to you and they want to follow you. What you're showing is an attractive thing. This is why... Um, you know, some of the coaches on our team who are just so positive online all the time, they're just like dead consistent. They're hitting these high success club numbers because people are attracted to them. They're not having to go out and beg people to join their challenge groups. They're not fighting over price with people, trying to convince them why they should be joining. These people are already convinced because your lifestyle that you're sharing and all of the love and joy and inspiration that you're pouring out into the world that attracts people to you like a magnet because most people don't feel that in their day-to-day -day life. They don't feel that happiness, that joy, that confidence, and they see it in you and they go, I want that. Like, what are you doing 
that I can do too and have that same feeling. And that is when the magic starts to happen, you guys, because that is when you start to step up as a leader with these people and success follows. That's when your success club just starts to happen. That's when people start wanting to join your team. That's when the people who do join your team start to be really successful because you're duplicating that same consistency with the people under you. You're teaching them how to do it. And that is really all it takes. So when things start to get really hectic or if you're feeling a little bit stalled out or you're like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, I want you to be really, really honest with yourself and think, if I go back to the basics, is there something I'm missing? Am I working out and eating right, but I'm not doing personal development? I know it sounds so woo-woo, you guys, but... Any time that I let my personal development slack, everything else slacks. Because you need when when you're a coach, so much is giving. You're giving your time, you're giving your encouragement, you're being really vulnerable about your own story. You have to refill that well. You have to pour back into yourself. And we're just people. We're not perfect. We have areas where we can improve. And personal development helps you with that. Maybe you're not so good at time management. Then you can read a book like The Compound Effect or The Slide Edge or eat that frog, that can really help you figure out practical ways to get better at that. Maybe confidence and leadership is where you know you need some help. So you could um, do read something like Girl Boss or Tribes or Developing the Leader Within. These are the kind of things that it's kind of like your responsibility to continue your own education and your own evolution as a human just to get better in the areas that you know maybe you're not so strong at. And it doesn't have to be anything crazy. 20 minutes a day, 10 pages a day. It can be your morning routine, your nighttime routine. You can download uh, podcasts. You can do audiobooks. Whatever is the easiest for you, you can make it work. But once that happens, everything else starts to happen almost automatically. So take it back down to the basics, and I know that you guys will start to see these things happening. And if you're not, then be really honest and say, okay, maybe, you know, I only worked out once this week, but, so I'm not feeling real good, or... You know, I was working out and doing personal development, but I wasn't eating well, so I need to go and fix that area. And then, you know, just recommit next week to do your three vital behaviors every single day and see how you feel after a week. I promise that you're going to feel better, and it's going to kind of kick that, kick that momentum right back up into play. Okay, so my next aha moment that I, um, I had been feeling in my head but couldn't really communicate until after the retreat is that in beach body coaching, fitness is just the vehicle. So don't don't get lost here. I promise it's gonna make sense. So we all start getting into beach body for one reason or another, it's usually linked to fitness. Whether we start as a challenger and we come in wanting to lose some weight and get healthy and then you know we see how everything works and that that makes us excited and we want to join in the business side or whether we join in because, you know, we think that fitness and health and wellness is important and we love that we can do that as a way to make money. Either way, it's linked to fitness. Now, sometimes it can be easy to kind of stop there and say, well, that's all I do is I just help people get fit. But if you can dig a little bit deeper and you can see that fitness is just the vehicle for all of these other things, it can really open you up to fully understanding your own why and your own motivations. And that can give you more power to kind of plow through any sort of goals you have or any sort of you know trials that you have as a coach. So every single person that I've ever met wants to either lose weight or gain muscle or get healthier or cleanse and detox, they're, you know, they're looking to improve themselves in some way. So as beach body coaches, this puts us in a really special position because our market is literally everybody. You know, like there are a lot of other great MLMs that have really cool products, but how many of them can say that their market is literally like every person that you've ever come in contact with? And it's so true. Men, women, you know, old, young, uh, educated, not educated, rich, poor, it doesn't matter. Health is something that affects every single person out there. There's Health doesn't discriminate. So for us, it is such a great opportunity because it brings so many people into us. But what we have to remember is that fitness is just the vehicle for something else. So what most people realize when they come to us is, you know, they come and they say, I want to lose 10 pounds. I want to feel better in my skin. I want to get healthier. But what they're not realizing until they get started is what they really crave is a lasting change in lifestyle. And everything they've tried in the past hasn't worked. It can't provide that. But we can. We can help people 
to totally change their life. And I know that it sounds so cliched, but it is 150% true. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it in my friends that are Beachbody coaches' lives. I've seen it in past challengers who didn't ever become a coach. I've just seen it change their life in so many positive ways outside of just fitness that it totally is a vehicle for us to do really, really incredible things. So what do we really want for people? What is it that we want to see happening? That leads me into my next one. We're going to talk about your pageant why. So I don't know if you guys have um, seen Miss Congeniality where all the girls are trained to say, like, what do you want for the world? Wait, what's your number one thing that's the most important? And they all say world peace. I feel like in beach body coaching, when you say what's your why, Everybody says to help people, you know, like I just want to help people and that is great. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but hear me on this. Helping people is what we do as beach body coaches. What we do is not our why. That's just our job. Like that that's not your why underneath it. Everybody that is a beach body coach wants to help people. So, everybody across the board wants that. That's your pageant why. That's your world peace. But there's a deeper why that's underneath that, and it is usually really, really, really ingrained in your own personal story, in your own trials, in your successes, in your vision for your own future, for yourself and your family, and figuring that out, you guys, is going to change the game for you. So, I'm going to do a little exercise really quick. I want everybody to close their eyes. Close them. Okay. I want you to take a second, and I want you in your head to visualize the person you love most or just one of the people you love most. Um, and I want you to see their face in your head right now in front of you like they're looking at you. Now I want you to think, what do you want for them so much in the world that it makes your heart hurt when you think about it? What is something that you wish for them? What do you want to ha have them have in their life? What feelings do you want them to feel? Now, how do you want yourself to feel about it? What do you envision for yourself and that person that you love so much in your future? What kind of feelings can you feel for yourself? What do you want them to, uh, to not have to go through? What, um, what's the vision that you have in your head? It can be as specific as you can see the place that you want to live with that person and you can see yourself happy and peaceful and rested and feeling confident and safe in this place, this warm space. It could be a specific thing that you want them to be able to have or achieve or a specific feeling you want them to have. Now I want you to kind of remember that in your head. You guys can keep your eyes closed or open if you want. Now I want you to think about how does that relate to your why. So I know that for a lot of people, you know, there's a financial component, there's um, the desire to help people change, but you have to dig deeper than that. It's not just about wanting to have more money. It's not just about wanting to get out of debt. It's not just about wanting to help people. Why do you want those things? Do you want to get out of debt because you want to be able to do something in particular? Is it because you want to have a certain feeling? You want your kids to not have to worry about money. You want you and your spouse to be able to um, give to missions or do something with it that's really positive. Maybe you've always had this other dream that you wanted to do, but you never could figure out a way to get there. Um, maybe it's for your kids. Do you want them to never have to go through the same troubles and trials that you went through? Maybe certain, you know, relationships or situations that you were stuck in or that your parents were stuck in that affected you and you don't want that for them. That is where we start getting into our why, you guys. It's so much deeper than I want to get out of debt. I want to be able to go on a vacation. I want to, you know, help people. It's so, so much deeper. So for me, something that I realized on the retreat is that my pageant why is actually really good. I have a really good pageant why. My pageant why is that, and I've said it from the very beginning, I want, I had this experience of losing myself and losing confidence and feeling just horrible in my body. And Beachbody helped me get out of that. It helped me change all of it. It helped me find my groove, find my confidence, find my voice again, feel strong, feel you know beautiful in my own skin, and feel like I could accomplish something when I had felt so stuck. And I want that for other women and other moms. And that is 150% true, but that's kind of my pageant why. You know, that's basically saying I want to help people feel better. So what I discovered at the retreat was that my why runs so much deeper than that. In my life, I've had a history of feeling um, not super valuable as a person, 
just because of different things, different relationships. I've also felt stuck and not had the means to get out of a get out of situations just based on, you know, finances or, or, you know, my careers or whatever. And I never, ever, ever want Cadence to feel either of those things. I mean, when I did this visualization, vis, ah, visualizing exercise, I was crying at the retreat because I just have this vision of him running through this house that has this big open kitchen and it's like the cool house where all the boys like to hang out and they eat us out of house and home and everybody's happy and he never ever ever has to worry about money he never has to feel like he can't do something because we didn't have enough money to do it he never has to feel like he has to make decisions between things for our sake like he has to take care of us as his parents he never has to feel like he can't get out of a situation because finances are in the way I never want that for him and Communicating that on, I never want that for other women. I never want a woman to feel like she can't move in a certain direction because she's so stuck due to how she feels about herself or her body or her finances, her past, any of it. I don't want that. I want people, um, women especially, to feel valuable, to feel like they have a voice, that voice matters, and that they can do incredible things with that. I want them to feel empowered to change their situation for themselves, for their kids, for their spouses, for all of it. And that, for me, is my real why, underneath my pageant why. So yes, I want to help people, but for me, it's so much deeper. I want to cultivate this sort of freedom in people's lives. That is my driving why. That is the thing. And I mean, for other people as much as for our own family, it kind of goes for both. That's the driving thing, that when I have a bad day, when, you know, I miss a qualification for something, when there's some silly back-end thing that is, you know, frustrating and I'm having a hard time fixing it, those are the things that are going to keep me going instead of just throwing in the towel and saying, oh, this is just too hard, it doesn't work, it's not worth it, it's not worth the time. No, for me it is because if I can cultivate that sort of thing in someone else's life, that's, that's winning for me. Like, that is amazing. If I can change that, change the future for Cadence so that you know, he just has opportunities everywhere and he never has to worry and he never has to feel stressed out about money or finances or like he has to take care of us with his decisions, any of it. That is huge for me. So your homework tonight and this weekend is to really sit down and I want you to take a pen and a piece of paper and I want you to, here, I can even show you where I wrote mine. I want you to picture that person in your head, like I said, and I want you to basically just write out your vision for them, for how you want them to feel, for the life you want to be able to have with them, for them, together. And then I want you to think about those emotions and how they, um, how they affect the other people that Beachbody brings to you. This is why I was saying fitness is the vessel. Yes, I want to be able to help women lose weight and feel confident. But fitness is the vessel that brings those women to me. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to, to get this open with them, to get them to be open and vulnerable with me about their dreams and their goals. Fitness is what gives them the confidence to pursue this other stuff. Uh, Vanessa and I were talking about this earlier that that's why it's so important to do your workouts every day because doing your workouts every day proves to yourself that you can do it, that you have the discipline to get up and do it. When you bust through a plateau with your body that you didn't think you can do, when you can hold a plank and you never could before, when you can do a pull-up and you never could before, when you can just get through one of T25 workouts without stopping, that is a huge thing and that makes you feel like, oh my gosh, I can do hard things. Like I, My body is incredible and that translates over into so many areas of life. So for me, with the women that I want to be able to help, Fitness is the vehicle. I've got to get them feeling good in their bodies, feeling confident about what they can do. And I need to get them understanding those feelings so that those can translate into the other areas of their life. They feel confident leaving that relationship that is just so shitty and draining and toxic. Or they feel confident pursuing a passion that they were always afraid to do because maybe it was different than the expectations that were put on them. They feel confident blazing a trail for their kids, you know, for their daughters, for their sons. They feel confident with the idea of actually saving money and getting out of debt when they thought they never could before. All of those things are so important to me, and that's why I was saying fitness is just the vehicle. So I want you guys this weekend, like I said, to kind of figure out what fitness for you is the vehicle for. I want you to think about your own life story. If you had to pick three main events that characterize who you are today, 
I want you to write them down and then I want you to think about why they make you who you are and what those things that you went through, how you can turn those things, good or bad, messes or not, into your own message. How can you use that to be able to help other people in the future? How can you kind of turn that into a deeper why than just a pageant why? And it's okay if you have a pageant why. I have one. It's a good one. I love sharing it with people. But like I was saying, it's my vehicle to help people get into my deeper why, this deeper one that is just, you know, so much stronger and so much closer to my heart. So last thing is the message that I have for Lindsay for you. So let me go ahead and get that going. Hi, team. Hi. We are here at the Bombshell Mansion, and I'm here with Miss Lindsay Matway, and we have just been thinking about you guys, and we wanted to make you a special video. So I was just sitting here talking with Becca, and we've been sharing a lot about the bigger vision of Beachbody and how, like, if we could package up everything that's been said here this weekend and, like, hand it over to you, that you would see the bigger picture of Beachbody and you realize how incredible this opportunity is. And although we can't necessarily do that, next time we'll put in, like, cameras all over and have it be, like, real world <laughs> a bombshell. But just the last two months of the year are something kind of special. And I think a lot of people dread them because they're like, ah, you know, nobody wants to buy anything come Christmas time and nobody wants to stay in shape around Christmas time or Thanksgiving. But the truth is it really is going to rely on you and your decision on what you're going to do the last two months of the year. So I have a little challenge for you, and I hope that you'll accept the challenge. And that challenge is to recommit to the basics, because we all know that this business can be, like, super overwhelming, but it comes down to reading personal development. It comes down to being a product of the product, so actually working out, drinking the shakes every single day, and sharing that journey and showing people what's possible, because it all starts with you showing them. And so I have, a, I have a little challenge to just commit for the last 45 days of the year. You guys can totally do it. Totally. You could do two rounds of 21 Day Fix for the rest of this year and be in the best shape of your life if you wanted to. So I know I'm recommitting, and Becca's going to too. Yep. We're going back to the basics, and we're going to hit it hard. Because what's going to happen is by January 1st, everyone's already going to have their mind up how they're going to get back in shape. They're already knowing if they're going to go get a gym membership, if they're going to start yoga classes, or if they're going to join your challenge group and we want to have you see the momentum and the changes that can happen those first three months of the year and I know that the way that this is going to happen is if you recommit now <laughs> obviously we're having a good time here <laughs> and we want to have you here next year so next year guys let's make this rest of this year count and we will see you guys in Nashville see you there bye all right guys that was our little video obviously Lindsay's talking about summit in Nashville um, but that is something that I think is so important. Like I was saying earlier, I'm fully committed to doing the basics every single day for the rest of the year. I last year did a similar challenge where I committed to working out every single day in December and I posted a photo of myself working out and I told people what workout I did and I showed them a favorite move and it was so beneficial, not just for me, but for building momentum in my coaching business. And I think that you can never, ever fail when you go back to the basics and commit to doing them. So we're going to go ahead. That's the end of our official team call, but I'm going to switch over to our private question and answer time, and we can all kind of chat and talk about any ideas you guys have or anything you want.